Hi, I'm Christine Copper with Sotheby's International Realty Canada, bringing you your October 2020 Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver market update. October was another record-breaking month. It was the second highest month on record ever in real estate sales. And this was followed by September being the, the highest September on record ever as well. So 2020 is turning out to be a knockout year for the real estate market. And we're going to take a look at the numbers. Just one second here as I share my screen. All right, so let's see what we've got going on here. You had 3,687 sales in October with 3,643 sales in September. Uh, coming off a really hot August. I mean, our entire market has shifted into the fall. Uh, normally, our, our, our peak market is in the spring, and here we're just seeing this activity throughout the year. We're already at uh, 20, almost 25,000 sales at the end of October, and as of today, we've already done 1,200 sales in November, so we're already at almost 26,000 sales for the year. In perspective, 2017, which was a very active year, had 35,000 sales, and 2018 and 2019, which were not great years, only had about 25,000 sales in total. So we've already done the business that we did in all of 2019 or 2018 so far this year. We've got November and December ahead. Now, um, we are sitting at 3.4 months of inventory. This is the lowest amount of inventory we've had all year. When we have four or lower or less months of inventory, it's considered a buyer's market. If we have more than uh, six months of inventory, it's considered a seller's market. Of course, we need to see that consistently over a couple months to start to see the trend. And we have been seeing the trend. We've been seeing a trend in lower inventory, even as our listings are increasing throughout the year. Um, and, we're, and as a result, we're starting to see an increased price. This is the benchmark price and it's steadily increased all year, sitting at 1,045,000 at the end of October, up about 5% for the year and higher uh, year over year. And this was your month to month change. So everything is looking excellent for the Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver. However, it is not one big global story because we have different asset classes that are performing differently. Condos downtown are actually starting to see a decrease in um, prices as we have about 1,200 condos on the market right now in downtown Vancouver. And um, houses and townhomes are actually seeing a lot of action. Now, if you want to learn more specifically about your product type, please reach out to me. Let's book a time and we can do a Zoom call or whatnot and we can talk more about this. For example, specifically in downtown Vancouver, um, last month in October, we had 175 sales and we had over a thousand listing. So it's about 10 months of inventory in condos downtown. What else is really interesting about that is the majority of the homes are actually under a million dollars with just a handful between uh, one and two million. And after that, just a hand, like I think it's about 10 that were over $2 million, including a couple of um, luxury sales in the over $5 million mark. So it is not all apples to apples. The overall trend is very promising. However, it is product and location specific. So with that in mind, I invite you to reach out to me and I look forward for the opportunity to connect with you and help you decide what might be the best route for your strategy, whether you're thinking about buying or selling in Vancouver. Thank you so much and take care.